State of Wisconsin versus Brianna Kettleson. And the charges, there are three. Uh, the first is possession with intent to deliver methamphetamine as a part of the crime uh, in, with intent to deliver uh, near a school. Second count, maintaining a drug trafficking place. Finally, possession of drug paraphernalia, misdemeanor. What's the state's position here? Well, the state is uh, requesting cash bond uh, on all counts. Investigation involved uh, the drug smuggling and the Homeland Security Customs and Border Protection Agencies in Chicago. I should note, if I haven't mentioned, but there was quite a bit of cash recovered as well in the residence, as well as, uh, I believe, on not on Ms. Kettleson, but on uh, the co-defendant. I believe that's necessary to assure her appearance for all future court dates. We'd be asking for a signature bond, Your Honor, most notably for the reason that Ms. Kettleson has no criminal history. There is no history of missed court appearances, of a flight, anything of that nature. She has been a resident of Rock County for five years, so she does have some substantial ties here. I don't believe that she is a flight risk. As noted, the cash was not found on her. It was found on the co-defendant. In addition, it should be noted that she is charged only as party to a crime. The methamphetamines were not addressed to her, but were in fact addressed to Mr. Mickelson. Um, so, you know, for all of those reasons, in addition that Ms. Kettleson is 18 weeks pregnant, um, obviously jail is not the place for her. So I would just ask that, you know, for, for a signature bond to be set in this matter. And I do think cash bond is necessary in almost exactly in the sums that uh, Mr. Yonke stated, even though she does have that uh, relatively clean record and no missed court appearances in the past. The, um, sophistication of this operation that there were all these guns all this money transactions through China and the Hawaiian connections I think uh, all uh, justify a cash bond for 10,000 for count one 5,000 for count two and a hundred dollars for the uh, paraphernalia charge state of Wisconsin versus Kirk Mickelson there are four charges. The first is possession with intent to deliver methamphetamine as a party of the crime, with intent to deliver near a school, and is a repeater, second or subsequent offense. Second count maintaining a drug trafficking place, second and subsequent offense is a repeater. Third count <clears throat> possession of a firearm by a felon as a party of the crime and as a repeater. And finally obstructing officers, a party of the crime and as a repeater. What's the state's position here? Well, we are asking for a substantial cash bond on Mr. Mickelson. Uh, I've already indicated in the co-defendants matter many of the aggravating factors and concerns of the state in terms of bond in this matter. Uh, it, this defendant does have a uh, prior criminal history. Your Honor, this is, as indicated by Mr. Yonke, this is the co-defendant to Brianna Kettleson. We would be asking for the same amount of cash. I understand that the court imposed cash on her, even without a criminal record, so, you know, we anticipate cash. For Mr. Mickelson, we just simply ask for the same amount of cash. Um, I think there are aggra aggravating factors, particularly the felon in possession and the amount of weapons. I don't think it needs to be quite as high, but uh, I'll say $20,000 on count one. $10,000 on each uh, counts two and three and 1,000 on count four, uh, all as cash bond, uh, with the condition that you possess no weapon and have no contact with Brianna Kettleson. And given that, you'll be entitled to a preliminary hearing within 10 days of the date you ask for it. I assume you want that at the same time as Ms. Kettleson's on January 25th at 